so moto g4 plus if you remember this phone this was a great phone at that time in that price bracket but the lack of software support and the bad image of the motorola company in terms of software updates has annoyed a lot of users of the Moto G4 Plus and I am one too. So Motorola finally has started rolling out the Oreo 8.1 update to the Moto G4 Plus as promised after a lot of allegations but still it has received so that's a very good thing. So in this video I will cover the new features and improvements that the Oreo update brings with it to the Moto G4 Plus. So hey guys this is Vatsal here from VS Tech and let's get started. So the security patch level is of 1st December 2018 and that is a direct jump from the July 2018 so that's a good thing in my opinion and I probably think that it is the last update for this phone. Android Oreo is not a thing to talk about in 2019 so I am not going to cover the features of Android Oreo in this video but instead I will cover the features that Motorola has added new in this phone. Okay, so starting with the general UI and performance, it has been improved greatly from the Android Nougat and also the notification panel is now revamped and the settings page also is revamped. Coming to the camera options, now the camera app was recently updated by Motorola for all its phones and it was updated even before getting Oreo update. So basically what's new in this app is the Google Lens integration. So if you don't know what this lens does, then pause the video right here and see what it all does. So for example, here is my MacBook Air and if I tap on the image, then it will scan the image and show the related products that it has scanned. So here it showed the MacBook Pro and other MacBooks. And yes, since it's a very old phone and running on Snapdragon 617 chipset which is affected by heating issues, so the performance is not as great even after this update but yeah, I can say it is slightly improved and slightly smoother than the Nougat version. Okay, so coming back to what's new in this update are the Moto Actions. There are several Moto Actions that has been added in this update. So first are the media controls. So suppose your phone screen is off and the song is playing. Then you can press and hold the volume up button to change the track to forward it and also you can press and hold the volume down button to go back to the previous track. So it can be really helpful in certain cases where you don't want to unlock your phone to change the tracks. The second new feature is the screenshot editor. Now you can edit your screenshots on the go but also there is one more option to take long screenshots which is generally present on the customized UI like the Mi UI or Realme Color OS. But on this page I didn't have anything to scroll down so it is stopped automatically. And now here is the screenshot editor so you can edit your screenshots by using these following options. Now the third one is three finger screenshot. So you can take the screenshot by using your three fingers. So you need to just press and hold on these three buttons and the screenshot will be taken. Now I have seen several implementations like this on the MIUI on which you need to swipe down with your three fingers. But this feature is actually new. So these small features on a stock Android phone like this makes the software experience a lot better and improves it a lot. So the next 4 features were already there in the Nougat version and they are the double karate chop to open the flashlight, twist to open the camera, pick up the phone to prevent ringing and also flip the phone to put the phone on do not disturb mode. And there is one more option to swipe to shrink the screen and to enter the one handed mode and this option was also I think uh, was there on the Nougat version. Then under the Moto display there is one more option that is attentive display. It means it will keep the display on until you are looking onto it. And this feature is also present in the Samsung's new One UI which I am using currently on my Samsung Galaxy A50. So other than these improvements and new features, everything in this phone is pretty much same as old. So this update arrived very very late on this phone and but still it arrived and it is a very good thing. So I received this update a week before uploading this video. So it was officially rolled out in India. But if you are not from India and has not received this update then be patient and wait for a few more days to receive this update because I believe Motorola will roll out soon to all other regions also. So that's all in this video guys, if you did like this video don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe my channel for more such content like this and I will see you in the next one.